Hey guys, welcome back to another daily video here at 88 Rotors and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We strive to bring you daily videos to showcase our work here at the shop and hopefully have the videos benefit you in one way or another. Maybe it can help you decide on a lift to use or maybe a certain wheel or a specific mod. If you guys want us to do the, some work on your vehicle, that's even better. Our shop is located here in the city of South Omani, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles when it's not rush hour. You gotta love that LA traffic. The truck of the day today is the third generation quicksand colored Tacoma 4x4 TRD off-road seen here. We'll show you a couple other trucks later in the video also, but this will be the main focus of the video. This quicksand taco is getting a set of Kings 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks along with our Adelieve system. To maximize the performance of the new coilovers in the front, we'll be adding a set of Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms. Not only will that allow full articulation, it will also allow for better suspension geometry when getting aligned. This customer came in with the previously installed set of TRD Pro wheels off of the 4Runner. He originally had 265-7017s on there, as you can see on the right, but we're upsizing it to a 285-7017 now with the new suspension, allowing it to clear. Unfortunately, at the moment, we do not offer alignment here at 88 Rotors, but we do recommend that you drive on new suspension components first for about 200 miles before getting an alignment done. When you get an alignment done, make sure that the caster gets adjusted properly. Some shops don't know that. They only focus on your vehicle going straight, then it causes rubbing, especially if you're going with larger sized tires. Once again, this is a comparison of the 265-7017 versus the 285-7017. Here at 88 Rotors, we calibrate our balancing machines bi-weekly to ensure that you get a smooth and comfortable, shake-free ride. As you can see here, the Adelie system has already been installed. Now, the King's 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks are being installed. As one tech mounts up the last reservoir, the other is double-checking his work. Once all nuts and bolts are torqued down properly, we mark it with a white paint pen. That way we can ensure that it has been double checked and if there's any movement in the nut or bolt getting loose, you can easily spot it knowing that the line is not matching up anymore as it was when we first marked it. We hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far, so if you do so, please find time to click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It makes a very big difference for this channel and this video itself, and it definitely encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. Once again, for those that are unfamiliar with this wheel, this is the 4Runner TRD Pro wheel. These come stock on all the 4Runner TRD Pros. They come in a 17x7 with a positive 4 offset. We usually wrap them up in a 285 7017 like we did here every time we lift the vehicle. Front end suspension is almost complete. Our techs have already installed the upper control arms along with the King's 2.5 remote reservoir shocks. Next thing we have to do in the front is mount up the reservoir after we put on the brackets for them first, obviously. Do you guys have Instagram? Make sure you check us out at 88 Rotors Off Road. We post on there daily, both on our feed and our stories.
Next up, we have another MGM Tacoma that we're bringing in. This one's also a 4x4 TRD off-road. This one's getting a similar setup to the Quicksand one. We're going with a 2.5 Kings Remote Reservoir front and rear coilovers and shocks with cambered tubular uniball upper control arms. But for the rear on this one, we're actually doing a Dakar entire EL095R leaf pack replacement. Most people don't like the look of mud flaps, so we're removing them. In addition to that, it actually gives you more tire clearance. Wheels and tires are now going on. The project is almost complete. We're about to bring the vehicle down to the ground, torque them down a spec, and take it out for a quick test drive. If you have any questions or comments regarding this truck or any of our other work, feel free to drop them down below. We'll try our best to respond to every single one of your messages as soon as we can. And as a friendly reminder, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure you also click on that notification bell. That way you get notified every single time we post a new daily video. Quicksand Tacoma is now complete. Let's bring it outside and take a look. What do you guys think of the finished product here? Drop a comment down below and let us know. We always have package deals on Kings and Camberg setups, so if you're interested in getting something like this done to your truck, make sure to reach out to us. We'll make sure to give you the best prices possible. Bringing back over to the MGM Tacoma, this one right here is the EL095R Old Man Emu Dakar Leaf Pack. This one's going on with some new ARB bushings.
Here you can get another look of the King's setup with Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms. Do you want to enhance the look of your Tacoma without lifting it? This customer with the red second gen here is going in for a new wheel and tire setup. We're going with the TRD Pro wheels on some 265-70-17 tires. This blue second gen Tacoma on the rack here is in for a body mount chop and some pinch weld work. This is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's Tacoma video. Thank you very much for stopping on by and checking us out today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell. That way, we can notify you tomorrow when we publish our next daily video. Until then, take care guys.